Alright guys, so this came out of nowhere. I wasn't even prepared to talk about this, but I was like, well, it's out, might as well talk about it as a Star Trek fan. So, today it was a, we, far, we got our first trailer for the next Star Trek show from CBS All Access, and that is Star Trek Picard. Now it looks like, um, after using the Infinity Stones to wipe out all life in the uni half of all life in the universe, Picard went, in went to be a farmer, and in order to keep the stones from being used again through his own temptation, he used the stones to destroy the stones and ended up- wait, 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 wait. I'm thinking of something else, never mind, forget what I said. Anywho, yeah, so, real- yeah, but I can't be the only person, I cannot be the only person who watched that teaser trailer of just Picard at, in a farm, just kind of like, uh, I- couldn't help but think of Endgame, of what Farmer Thanos was up to after um, wiping out half of all life in the universe. I cannot be the only one who thought that. I'm really hoping someone does like a fake fan trailer of of uh, Thanos, but with this trailer. Oh man, um, I'm just saying, like, um, <laughs> I'm just saying that it just like I can't be the only one who thought that when you when we first all saw that. Now, this, we don't know much of the story, other than it's, um, it's been 15 years since Picard left, uh, Star, the Admiralty, uh, and Starfleet altogether and retired. But apparently something happened. In the, what we think is an interview going on is that, um, Picard, 15 years ago, led a massive rescue mission, and it apparently left him mentally scarred. Now... That's really cool. I think it's really cool that we're following Picard, um, not so much in a leader role, but more like, what do you do after those events? I really hope this show, because it feels like it's going to be more of a drama-based show. I really feel like it's going to be more of a drama-based um, character piece with Picard 15 years after leaving Starfleet. But maybe we'll, we'll find a way to get him back in the Admiralty in some capacity, because I imagine Star, you know... Uh, the current fandom will be like, well, where's all the shooting and stuff? Where I'm, I'm where, whereas I'm like, yeah, I'm totally fine with this being a character piece because uh, Captain Picard, uh, you know, uh, Patrick Stewart is kind of old, and he was pretty old to begin with, guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm fine with this just being a character piece. Are we going to see him with with his brother? Are we going to see him with his, uh, yeah, with his brother? Or are we going to see him now? Is he married? Is he finally married? Or has something else happened that made him lose faith in humanity? Because something happened 15 years ago on that day that made him go, yeah, I'm done with Starfleet, they lost, because it's it's really hard to say, and I really think that's cool that we're going in this like very um, Old Man Logan kind of uh, direction. Just a little more hopeful, because we haven't lost all of humanity yet. Or we could have lost at some point, who knows. Um, but that's what I like about this new all-access show, all these new all-access shows focusing heavily on Star Trek, because now we get to have multiple Star Trek shows. We get to have, um, uh, what is it? Um, we, <laughs> Discovery, of course. We get Discovery with the action stuff. We get, we're going to have a humor-based show from the creators of, of Rick and Morty. Yes, that's going to be a thing. Um, and a deep character dive drama-based show focusing on Picard. And for those who don't know, me, I'm actually a big fan of TNG. That TNG was my Star Trek show. TOS was, um, was my dad's show. TNG was, um, TNG was my show. That was my show going into Star Trek. Um, so yeah, I think that's really cool that we're doing all of this, um, in this new era, and we're really, you know, it's gonna be really cool to see where they go with these characters. Um, and yeah, I was not expecting a trailer, but I feel like CBS was like, oh yeah, Terminator? Oh yeah? You think you're the only one with the, the only sci-fi, th um, kid on the block? Boom! Picard trailer! Total surprise! And I'm fine with that, but it also makes me wonder, are we going to see other, um, Show, characters from TNG is uh, Will Riker going to appear? Is is uh, Worf going to appear? Geordi, Data. Well, if we follow, well, I don't know about Data because uh, if you guys remember in Star Trek Nemesis, uh, Data died and B four took his place. So so I'm wondering if they're going to keep the if they're going to keep Nemesis or any of the Star Trek movies in canon. 
And that's the other thing, is it makes me wonder, what's canon and what's not? Um, are the movies canon? Um, that's the big question, because I pretty am sure that they're going to keep a lot of the show, of the seven-season show, in canon. That's, um, that's probably a big given, as it is. So, I'm willing to wager that it's probably going to be in canon. Um, anyway, so... Yeah, that's a you know that's another thing. Um, it also makes me wonder: Are we going to see Q in here? You know, John Delancey's kept saying that he wants to go back to Star Trek, whether to direct episodes or appear as Q. And it would be kind of funny, like um, Picard when he meets Q again. Picard's like, "Why do you look so old?" And and Q can be like, "Well, you've gotten older, John Luke. I John Luke, I didn't want to make you feel envious or something of that nature." He would definitely do, like, he would do that. Like, he would make himself look like an old man, um, just to make, like, just to, like, tease Picard, because he's like, yeah, you keep aging, I can just switch back to being a young man again. That'd be, you know, that's a neat way of looking at it. Because in a weird way, Q is, you know, considers himself Picard's friends, even though he's not the best at showing, at, at showing it. So that would probably be the way to do it, is, like, he makes himself look old, in front of Picard to be like, oh, well, I didn't want you to be, you know, I didn't want you to be envious of me, or something like that. And do you really have, do your bones really creak like this? It's so unnatural. Um, I'm also going to wager that whatever happened in that 15 years ago in that rescue mission probably more than likely had something to do with the Borg. It no doubt had something to do with the Borg. I am pretty sure that it was pretty Borg-related in that regard. Um, so yeah, that's my, you know, that's kind of my, uh, big wager with this, is that it's probably to do something with the Borg. I'd be shocked if it wasn't, I'd be surprised if it wasn't something Borg-related, because, um, the creators of Star, you know, the new guys behind, uh, Star Trek, and the people behind, uh, Discovery and Picard, and the people making, um, the, uh, animated show, they are all like, yeah, we all want to do something with the Borg. They are all collectively like, yeah, let's do the Borg, let's do the Borg. Um, but here I am one, like, I like the Borg, but I was like, but at the same time in Discovery, I'm like, can we do something with the Romulans, please? Can we, can we do something with the Romulans? Is that, is that too much to ask? Yes, it is. Oh, well, fuck you guys. So, uh, anyway, I'm very much looking forward to this deep character, uh, piece, but you guys tell us that here at Comic Universe, what do you guys think of Star Trek Picard? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? What are your theories on what made Picard leave... Uh, Star Trek. Uh, excuse me, Starfleet. Blah. <laughs> Just comment below, let us know, and if you're new here, remember to Hulk smash that subscribe button and be a part of Earth's Mightiest Subscribers. I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.